Welcome back. The Rio Grande, one of the biggest flashpoints of the border. I got a first hand look yesterday from the middle of the border of the daily threats that lie within eyesight of law enforcement and the everyday Americans who live on the riverbanks. Watch this. We're about to get into the boat with A.G. Paxton, and we are going to be touring the Rio Grande. Right here is Mexico. That park, this park in Mexico is controlled by the drug cartels. If you want to get into that park, you have to pay the smugglers and the drug cartels. You can't get into the park. They're all watching us right now. So they know that the agents are here. We're patrolling the waters. As soon as we're gone, they will radio in and say, coast is clear. More smugglers will come in. Is it effective or do the drug cartels not care? They're filming right now. What have we seen? Talk to us about where we saw that private fence. What's going on here? So that's the first time I've seen that. There was a landowner that built a three-mile fence, spent $15 million to protect his property because he, he was tired of people coming onto his property, destroying his property, stealing his vehicles, the partial wall that, that Trump was able to complete before he left office. And, and we've got bulletproof vests on. There are machine guns here. I mean, this is sending a message, right? Yeah, to... well, the cartels control this area, and even more so now than they did before Trump left office. The Biden administration has really empowered them by really sacrificing a lot of our people to having to do other tasks. And so the cartels have much more free reign down here thanks to what the Biden administration policies have done. Yeah, I mean, the cartels are making so much money on all of this. You have to pay just to get into a park. Yeah, so there's, you saw the park. Uh, you have to, the cartels control the park. So in order to get to the park that gets you closer to the U.S., you have to pay. And I've been told by agents down here that it's a minimum per person of $4,000. The cartels get 4000 at a minimum for every person that they bring across the border, which is thousands of people. That doesn't include the drug trafficking and the human trafficking that they do, that they have greater access to because our Border Patrol agents are busy, you know, taking care of all these families that are coming across. And, and this boat tour is so effective because you can see how close it is, Mexico to Texas. And if they're going to dump a baby in the river, your guys are going to go try to rescue the baby that's and then it. they just get across. That's exactly what happened. The cartel will throw kids over the boat and our people go rescue them and they bring the rest of the people in safely to cross over the border. So. I mean, if you see this, you get it. But the administration hasn't come down to see this. Yeah, I, I don't think they want to draw attention to it because they realize that they've created this problem, that the policies that worked under the Trump administration have been discarded for the policies that Obama put into place that clearly didn't work. And so they've adopted policies that they don't want to highlight to the American people. My thanks to A.G. Ken Paxton for leading that tour and including us on it.